Santi's ultimate guide to a Maltese dog. Our first tip, even before you take your new puppy home, is making sure you have time to spend with it. Once a puppy is separated from its mother and siblings and put into a new environment, it can easily develop anxiety, which could then lead to some behavioral issues. So do not leave your puppy at home alone for long periods, at least the first month. After your fur baby is familiar with the new home, start socializing it with other people, with other dogs and even different animals. By doing this, you will minimize the chance of the dog being aggressive or afraid of other people or pets in later stages. A socialized dog will also be less likely to bark, so both you and your pooch will be much happier. Taking care of a dog is in many ways similar to taking care of a small child. It will want to explore and discover different things around him. Everything will be so interesting. This is why it is absolutely necessary to be patient and understanding. But being kind does not mean to let the dog do whatever it wants. You must show the dog you are the alpha of the family. After all, your pooch will only be obedient if he respects you. Shouting too much or even being aggressive will only trigger the opposite of what you want, as it will get afraid and therefore much less likely to obey in the future. A good start is teaching your dog there is order and routine. Set a regular time for walks, feeding, grooming and even playing. Once your pup gets used to this, he will understand what is required of him faster and eventually obey better. Start training your puppy with the basic commands sooner rather than later. The classics as sit, giving five or down is intuitive and is a good pace. Later on, you can add other commands as rolling over, fetching, etc. Training will keep your dog's brain busy and active and it will then grow smarter and have a stronger personality too. You can even buy different dog jigsaws if you wanna go the extra mile. A busy and happy dog will not have time to think about barking, crying or even peeing at home and chewing on your shoes. Instead, it will find a way to talk with you and show you what it wants. Once again, a win-win for both. Put emphasis on grooming. White dogs in particular are prone to gray, yellowish hair and tear stains. Maltese, among other similar breeds, do not shed, so they can easily get their head tangled which is why it is best to brush them at least twice a week, or even better, daily. First, brush the hair to get rid of the tangles or dead hair, and then comb it for the finishing look. Combing will give the fur the bright and silky feeling you want. Use really quality shampoos and conditioners. Some brands are famous or even recommended, but it does not mean they are good for your dog particularly, because each dog's hair, each dog's fur has a bit different needs. We have already seen and used products which instead of detangling and hydrating had exactly the opposite effect. It is all about testing different types of cosmetics until you find the one that suits your dog the best. Right diet is key to any dog. What your dog eats will have a direct impact on both his health and appearance now and in long term. Choose the food carefully, aiming to provide him with the best balance of nutrients. Currently. Dry food is still quite popular among many dog owners since it is the easiest to store and serve. But it is not the only option. You can also go for the wet processed food or even raw. The most important is to keep away from all different kinds of additives in the food, such as fillers, which just increase the amount of food but do not have any real nutritional benefit. Colorants, which may cause poor skin or cold health and even allergic reactions and some others. What we can recommend is trying to find a local producer of handcrafted food or cook by yourself. But how to feed a Maltese? A puppy up to about 9 or 12 months of age should be fed 3 times per day. You can also free feed him by always having just enough fresh food out. Now it should consume about 110 calories per 1 kilo or 2.2 pounds of body weight. An adult Maltese should minimal eat around 90 calories per 1 kilo or 2.2 pounds of body weight and can be fed either twice or three times daily. Size of a daily ration for each dog is slightly different based on how much physical activity it has but also the exact size and age of your puppy. For the specifics it is great to consult a veterinarian or your breeder. As always we will leave useful links to products we use with Santi below the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.